And joining us on the couch, Education Minister Peter Fassbender. Uh, uh, Mr. Fassbender, thanks for being here. And we should point out we have put in the request to the BCTF and Jim Eicher to be on the show to participate in the dialogue. We are waiting for word, but what we do know today is there is a special meeting happening with mediator Vince Reddy. What happened in your meeting? What happened in the room that allowed this progress to happen to get to this point? Well, when I asked Mr. Eicher and Mr. Cameron to come to Victoria yesterday to meet with me, my whole intent was to see if uh, a proposal that I uh, was going to put on the table could help to break the logjam that we seem to have in negotiations. Uh, and it was a productive meeting. I mean, we, it was pleasant. We had uh, some good dialogue. Uh, I didn't want to get into any of the substantive negotiating issues because that's not my job. But I had both parties whose job it is to negotiate a settlement there. So the proposal I put had three components. One was to get immediately into mediation. Uh, number two, to take the um, grievances that are associated with the ongoing court case, put those aside because they represent a significant financial uh, element as well. And this, is a, this is a big point for BCTF to ask to put those aside for two weeks to, to get into mediation. Yeah, and, and you know, it, it's, not, it's not class size and composition that I asked to be put aside. That's still to be negotiated at the table. This is the grievances that are associated with the ongoing court case. And um, so I put that on the table, and then I said, you know, we're days away from school supposing to start. Can we agree to have a two-week hiatus on the strike and the lockout provision so both parties would make that step? Not precluding the right to resume that if indeed we found ourselves at an impasse again where we couldn't get an agreement, but simply to allow kids to go to school, to meet their teachers, the teachers to go back to class and be paid. I mean, I've had a lot of feedback on, from you on your program, from people you've heard from, that this is creating some hardship for teachers. I, I empathize with that. I understand it. So can we allow them to go back to be paid while we negotiate a, a fair settlement for them in terms of wage increases that are similar to what we've done with other public sector unions and really, uh, you know, show a sign to parents and to the communities that we want to get this solved. You know, and, and I think that's a sentiment for, for everyone, that they want to see this solved. And there's three asks, three specific points that you lay out there. What are the, the concessions the government can make to, to further this in the mediation going forward? Well, that would get me into the details of negotiations and what, you know, the ne negotiating team, BCPC, for the employer would do, and I can't do that, and I won't do that. Simply to say, I made it clear, as did Mr. Cameron, that part of what Mr. Reddy can bring to the table as a mediator, if he says that mediation is appropriate at this point because of the movement that has been made, then they'll get into the substantive. And, and is there room to negotiate? Of course there is. What is that? What are the details? That's for the table, not for me to comment on. There has been a lot of criticism about the idea of the government going back to the, the uh, appeal court on this case about the provisions that were stripped back from the BC teachers. Obviously, in this process, a lot of investments, or a lot of resources have been invested here. How much money has been invested and how much is this costing the BC taxpayer to go through this process that's important for the government, but is also a, a very important point for the BC teachers? Well, it's an important point for government government who has to represent the taxpayers' interests as well. And I don't know how much uh, has been spent. A lot of the legal work has been, been done by in-house legal counsel. We've had outside counsel involved as well, and I don't know what that figure is. But what's important here is that, you know, the court case and our appeal is based on uh, the government's position that there are points of law that we disagree with in the rulings, and that's why the appeal process is there. Uh, I said to Mr. Eicher yesterday that if, you know, the government wins this appeal, 
um, it would be the BCTF to decide whether or not they would appeal that ruling. And so, you know, that's part of the litigation process. And quite honestly, that's one of the things that we've talked about and I've talked about as minister, is we want to change that dynamic of legislation, litigation, legislation, litigation. Let's get to a stable environment. Let's get long-term stability in our relationships so we can focus on things like class composition in the future and what does the future of education look like. As we wrap this up today, what needs to happen in the next 24 hours so that schools in BC are, are back in session on September 2nd? One is for the BCTF to agree to the proposal that I put forward, including stepping back from the strike uh, and BCPC from the lockout. Uh, then also Mr. Reddy meeting with both parties, which he's going to do today, to facilitate discussions. He's not mediating yet. He's facilitating further uh, exploration of whether or not mediation is warranted. And if they come out of that today saying yes, then I suspect we will see them at the table with Mr. Reddy playing the role as a mediator if he decides he can do that and then um, you know we could be in a position where we could have an agreement before the end of the weekend. Uh, I've seen that happen in other labor disputes and school can start. If we can't because it is complicated there's lots of items. If we can't get it resolved this weekend that's why I suggested the two-week period. Put a time frame on it, make it clear put the pressure on both parties and the mediator to get this done uh, but do and make sure we get over all of the things that need to be negotiated. Complicated process no doubt. Mr. Fassbender thanks for being here sharing the time. My pleasure as always. And again we've got the ask out to the BCTF and President Jim Eicher to continue this dialogue on the show and of course we'll follow the meetings that happen with mediator Vince Reddy later today.